All right, here we go. Well, uh, Z axis right side. This is going to be the side with the motor. Again, uh, I have my wheel bearings with the half of the bearings popped out. Um, I have my stepper motor. I have one uh, inertia pulley. I have a uh, motor pulley. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I have four T nuts, four uh, M4 bolts for the T-nuts. I have eight spring lock washers. I have uh, some M3, it looks like maybe sixes or eights, um, a longer M3. I have two eccentric nuts, four M5 nuts, three nylon spacers, and four M5 bolts. Uh, and those are bolts, not nuts. Okay, I'm nuts. All right, so let's get going. Uh, let's take this guy and we're gonna point it like so. And we're gonna put our wheels through this way and then our motor through this way. Okay, so let's do our same old deal with our wheels. So we got a bolt, we got a spring washer, we got our bearing back on, and we have another lock washer. And we have a spacer. And we go into the smaller hole. Again, there's two big holes, two small holes. One nut besides me. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, let's tighten this down. Nice and tight, nice and spinny. Spinny wheel, spinny wheel. All right. M5 bolt, spring washer, bearing back on, other spring washer, nylon spacer, through the small hole, put on a nut. So, as you can see so far, this is a fairly, very, very, fairly, very simple build for a DIY 3D printer. The last one I built took me about eight hours, um, maybe. Um, this one is much easier to put together. M5 bolt, spring washer, bearing back on, eccentric nut through the hole, lock washer, Look at the instructions, make sure I'm not missing something. Oh, this one has a, oh no, we're good. We are good. Through there. Tighten that, you can spin. Last one, M5. Spring washer, bearing, eccentric nut. Through the bigger hole, put on the nut. A wrench, tighten it down. Oh yeah, coming together nicely. All right, we've got that guy like so. That's a thumbs up. Now, next step, we're gonna take our motor. And instructions show this plug pointing down. So let's make it point down. And we are going to take our, well, it looks like I don't really need that. Did I only use three of these? Oh, that's right. Okay. So the three smaller ones are going to go into this corner, this corner, and this corner. And then the longer one we'll use up here. So let's go ahead and tighten these guys in here. stepper motor is pretty sturdy right there all right and we're gonna take our pulley we're gonna put this long m3 through that hole there put our spacer 
and then we're going to screw this guy into there. And it seems like it's going to be long. And it is a bit long. Do I need a spacer in there? No. Well, that seems a little long. So I'm not really sure. I think that's supposed to be tight. But, all right, well, there is our right access mount. Um, and if anything comes up, uh, when I, if I find out something about this stuff that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, um, I'll add it in the videos uh, before you have to like dismantle everything um, in order to do that. So just looking at my motor mount right now, again, it's this way. Um, so I want to put all of these bolts with the T-nuts through, oops, the same side as the wheel like so. Again, not very tight. Just put barely put the T-nut on. Because we'll be having so much fun with these T-nuts later. Oops. Okay, um, and lastly, while we're here, you can go ahead and take your pulley. Um, the motor shaft should have one flat edge on it. Okay, so you want to find that flat edge. And then take your smallest, nope, second to smallest uh, Allen wrench. And go ahead and loosen these set screws. And we're going to put this guy on. And we want it to line up with this pulley. Uh, but we also want these Allen heads to um, actually go on the flat part of the shafts, or at least one of them. So I'm gonna flip this around this way. Hmm, that doesn't quite line up either, does it? All right, well, we'll go back to this way. So anyways, you want this guy and this guy to line up. as best you can. Now this guy kind of flops around. So you got a little bit of play there. Let's see. Probably something like that. Eh. Maybe in a little more. Actually, go in as far as you can. Seems to be the good spot. Okay. All right. I feel like there's I feel like there's a spacer or something missing here, um, because this still isn't quite lining up with this other pulley. So I'm going to actually take this off again because I'm not liking that. So I'm taking this little pulley off again and I'm going to go nut or bolt pulley washer or nylon washer and then one of these spring washers on the bottom. Let's see how that does for us. None of this stuff is actually the right size, so it's kind of weird. Uh, but it does definitely space that out better. So, I don't know. Maybe that lock washer being somewhat bent will keep this from spinning off. 
don't know. I'll leave it like that for now, and uh, we'll see what happens when we do the final assembly.